This is the South Kaibab Trail, heading down into the canyon, staying at Phantom Ranch, and we're probably about 45 minutes into the hike. Uh, we just took off crampons. It was kind of snowy and icy up the trail, but uh, this part of the trail is pretty clear. Just a gorgeous day. Yesterday it was pretty windy, but today is just the perfect day for hiking. This is a very narrow part of the trail, but very pretty. As you can see, steep declines on both sides. <clears throat> Looks like down there maybe four or five inches of snow. So if you don't want to hike the trail, you can take the mules up. We're at the one and a half mile spot right now. Very pretty rest stop. And we're about to start our hike down. We're at the one and a half mile spot right now and have uh, about six more miles to go. All right, this is the third part in our video hiking down to Phantom Ranch in the Grand Canyon on the South Kaibab Trail. Just beautiful scenery along the way. We just came off a little snow patch on the trail. But it looks like from here on out, there's not too much snow on the ground. Temperature's really nice today for hiking. It's amazing to look at these um, massive canyons and to think that these little rivers <coughs> carrying a bunch of silt down them carved out these canyons that are a mile in depth. That's beautiful. Here we are in the next part of the South Kaibab Trail, coming up to Skeleton Point, which is about the three mile marker on the trail. And there's these beautiful rock formations that, from the top of the canyon, you don't appreciate how high they are, how big these massive rock formations are. From down here, you kind of get a different perspective. So on the South Kaibab Trail, miles three through four are pretty much a series of switchbacks coming down the canyon. Uh, footing is pretty easy. All the switchbacks coming down. You have a gorgeous view out into the canyon. Those are doing a pretty steep descent into the canyon. drops right off of here. And the river is just down there. This is about at mile five or so of South Kaibab, heading down to Phantom Ranch in the Grand Canyon. Coming up to what looks like a cool mushroom rock. Some rock sculptures on the top of that. That's the Colorado River down below. Beautiful peaks. And then our trail continues down below. So we came down off of some switchbacks. It's in the shadow, so you can't really see it too well, but there's some hikers way over there. And then it just follows that ridge line all the way down. 
and some hikers way off in the distance at that peak. So at this point, we're just descending down into the Colorado River. The trail's been pretty smooth this last maybe two miles. Got a good aerial view of the first bridge that we'll be crossing. Looks like we'll be going through a little tunnel. Finally down into the bottom of the canyon. Last stage of the trail that goes down to the river. You can see it right down there. We're entering through this dark tunnel where there's rumors to be a fire-breathing dragon that lives inside. But we'll go see. Ooh, it's mighty dark in here. See all the bats up on the top? Ooh, I see a light at the end. Might be the fire-breathing dragon. Nope. Oh, it's a bridge. So this is the same <coughs> route the mules take, which I'm sure the mules are to thank for bringing all of this building material down here, which is pretty amazing because we're down a mile from the top of the canyon and all these steel beams, I imagine, are quite heavy. We're now crossing the river. which is a very green, lots of sediment in the river. And they recently flooded the river. And the sediment got washed down and there's a sand, little beach down there, some white sand. It looks like a little cable over here of some sort. I don't know if that's a communications cable or... Oh yeah, it looks like a little... Yeah, a little cart that's used to maybe carry equipment across. Way over on the other side. We just arrived at Phantom Ranch. It was about uh, almost a five hour hike down the canyon. Um, there was a cable car in the previous video and we found out that that cable car was built to bring supplies across and they made the car part just enough, big enough to fit mule. Checked into Phantom Ranch, so now we're just waiting for our dinner, which is in an hour and a half. A couple mule deer. Right along our trail, wondering what we're doing. Hi, Mr. Mule Deer. <sighs> Leaving Phantom Ranch after having spent a night there, and the conditions were pretty good. We didn't have any uh, showers, but um, at least we were warm. The people who were camping complained that it was pretty cold, so doing a winter hike, I would definitely suggest. Uh, being inside or be prepared for a cold night. So we're about to cross another bridge. This one has a pipeline underneath it and the pipeline is actually used to supply all the water for Grand Canyon National Park. You can see the pipeline off to the right after it goes over the bridge. So we have uh, another creek bed that we've been following up on our hike. We got a little waterfall right here and we have a little mule pack coming up. Get up here, look over your left shoulder and behind you, nice little waterfall happening. Howdy. Howdy. Morning. Howdy. Howdy, morning. So, again, mule pack taking, well, we had about maybe six or seven people down. <laughs> Passed uh, another one yesterday that was packing stuff out. So, garbage and stuff that people left down at some of the campsites. But just a beautiful trail here in the midst of this canyon. Big rock formations up above us.
Again, this is January 2013. <clears throat> so, it is still a little bit chilly out here. I've got hat on, a little neck warmer, um, pretty much just one shirt. Got some hiking shoes, got my hiking poles, and some nice mitts to keep me warm. Some more mule deer. This one has antlers. Pretty tame usually. Seems like they're used to people. This one's actually a pretty big herd. There's probably maybe eight or nine of them scattered around here. And as we're ascending out of the valley, we're just coming up to the first snow on the ground too. We're still on the Bright Angel Trail. Just came up some switchbacks, as you can see from down there. Coming through the snow. With a little trail coming up behind us. We're probably about the, I don't know, six and a half miles from the bottom. The temperature has substantially decreased in the last hours. <clears throat> the trail has been covered in snow for the last maybe two miles. See all the snow on the trail. But, uh, <clears throat> It hasn't been too steep. It's not nearly as steep as the South Kaibab Trail, so it's um, pretty easy to hike. But gorgeous up here. Maybe not quite as dramatic as some of the views on South Kaibab. Um, we've been in the shade most of the day, so it's definitely felt quite a bit cooler. Um, I imagine in the summer this might be a, a little cooler way to hike down if it's a hot day. Mid to high 20s right now. <clears throat> this trail definitely a little bit more moderate than the South Kaibab Trail. Got a little tunnel we're going through. But if you're hiking in the winter definitely layer up. So we're about 20 minutes from the top of the canyon on beautiful snowy trail. We got a mule train coming. How's it going? There you go, just like that. Yeah. There's some of the new mules are not used New to mules. Hey guys. So this mule train started off with six riders, down to three. So you want to be nice to your mule on the way down. Thank you very much. Sure. And you can see by the snowy conditions here and the steepness of the trail, you got to put a lot of trust in those mules and their footing, especially when you're riding next to a drop-off that goes and drops down a good thousand feet or so. But, I guess if you don't want to hike up and down the canyon, that's the way to go. So we're nearing the top of Bright Angel in the Grand Canyon. Um, we came up Bright Angel and this last few miles have been a little more steep than the first few. Coming through another little tunnel here. And we're just about at the top. So it took us about seven hours of hiking and we kind of took our time. <clears throat> but definitely a pretty hike with a lot of great views. So if you get the chance, do a winter hike into the Grand Canyon, come experience the snow on the red and black and green rocks, it's absolutely gorgeous.